I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Mid laners in EU are like Froggen, the other guys that play mid, and then the AD carries for NA, we've got me, the other people that play AD. <laughs> I can't believe how many roster changes are happening. You know this game's going to hell. You know this game's gonna end up just being... <laughs> NA LCS will become the EU Korea LCS. Where's all the talent in NA? Why aren't any of you guys challenger? Where is the talent? Why the... Wait, these guys... Oh shit. You're... you're up. Take my job. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I forgot I'm on the Europe server. These guys are the people that are gonna take my job. You know you can actually tumble through this wall? Yo, go fight that Fiora, what the fuck? Ladies well, and you gentlemen, <laughs> big, big king. You see me tumble oh, through that shit? Oh. Yeah, dude. Did you ever see that before? Jeez, man. Is that you? I'd only seen Faker do that before. <laughs> this is what separates a pro player from a lesser player. Avarice Blade gives three gold per ten seconds, so in my death, I can make nine gold. I'm not gonna upgrade it until I make that nine gold. And then I'm gonna make a static show. I'm telling you, it's the small things like that that people take for granted. I'm telling you guys, that's what separate. You think the barrier between being a pro and being a not pro is far it's not you gotta take those little advantages I, if anyone's taking that seriously i'm just kidding nine gold literally means absolutely nothing there's like there's no situation where i was like shit i need nine gold asap so don't take that seriously i'm just fine raging at my useless teammates um i don't know i mean you just gotta like it's just about realizing how meaningless it is to like rage at because when you think about it it's like what is even raging at my teammates accomplish like you have to go in with the mindset that it's like this probably isn't the best mindset but this helps like when i was a rager this is how i thought of it i was like these, these guys on my team are fucking garbage nothing i tell them could ever possibly help them in any way because they're just so garbage that i'm just wasting my breath on this shit wasting my effort on this shit so once you start looking at it like that you start to realize how truly meaningless it is to try to like tell them what to do or tell them that they suck because more than likely they already realize that they suck you feel me on that one dude now i used to be a huge ass racist too, but I know where you're coming from, my man. Now, I'm telling you, that's just how you have to look at solo queue. Like, if you're a really big rager, like, you don't want to hear, like, nah, dude, don't worry about it. You just got to play your best, do your best. Don't worry about anything, man. It'll be like, A-OK. -okay. It's like, nah, I'm going to speak to you in your terms because I used to be a rager, too. I'm just like, these kids are fucking garbage. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't give a fuck what they have to say. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Ignore everyone on my team and just do my own thing. How do you get out of low elo if you main support? Pretty much the same way you get out of low elo on every champion or every role. It's just win lane, win game. That's that's literally what you can do for whatever role you are at low elo. Like if you're support, like support dictates the lane bottom. So like when supports are like, man, I can't carry the lane. My AD sucks. It's like motherfucker. The only reason you exist is to make your AD win lane. Like, if you can't win lane, it's not because your AD sucks, it's because you suck. Cutie, your logic is flawed. As a support, I haven't yet figured out how to force my ADC to auto our lane opponents. See, the thing is, at lower elos, you don't even need your ADC to win oh, trade. Yeah. Like, you can literally oh, solo the enemy yeah. AD. Like, if I ever play on a bronze to, like, challenger or cat, I could do only support and solo carry the lane. Like, I even do it when I play support here, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Enter calculate. You guys want to check it out here? I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it with hard stats. So okay, I, I said have that. A decent lead now. So let's do the math here. We have one health seal is eight health. 
So I'm gonna verify the math right, between. I think I secured it enough. I'm gonna verify the math for this ring page real guys. quick. So if one true. health seal is eight health, and then I have nine runes of that, I have seventy-two health. So this checks out. So we'll go Wait, to math. Okay, I can turn it down a little. This is plus thirty-six. Okay, so we add plus thirty-six. Hey, how's that? Let me know if it's too loud. Okay, so then with my calculations, one armor. One armor. So how much armor? We get four point three armor. One armor is effectively point zero three health. So then we go point zero three, and we find the inverse to that. And then, since we run 4.3 armor, we divide by 4.3. Holy moly. Start up. And then, we multiply by the health that is gained, and you come out with. We gain a, a 821 more effective health. So, when you start off the game, you effectively, you normally have 700 Start health, up. but you actually have 821 Hello? with this room page. So there you go, boys. Mathematical proof that I'm right. That's what I'm here for. Showing you guys the tips and the tricks. As mathematical proof, I fucked your mom. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, I'm serious. Fuck you. I tried Gnar out, no, but I played him. I played him when they like first came out with the concept, and I can tell you guys that he is definitely. Yeah, let me put a full screen on. He is, he's definitely going to be a viable champion that is looking really fun, and I will definitely want to play. Oh god, Misfortune's ulti is so fucking garbage, it's ridiculous. Misfortune's ult literally makes no sense, because it's an AD scaling magic damage ability that's other scaling is magic damage that scales off of AD, so... Both the, both the scalings don't match the damage that they're dealing, which makes no fucking sense. Like, why the fuck is that even? I don't know. Whatever. I could go on about MF for days, but at the end of the day, he really gives a fuck, right? He's a chance of fucking garbage. <laughs> Hello, Hello sir, I feel the need to subscribe to your stream, but I am hesitant I'm since it is called the Big Dick Club. I taped a pencil on it and reach about 22 centimeters with that. Would that count? Um, you, um, you shouldn't feel intimidated because it's called the Big Dick Club, dude. Because everyone's got a big dick right here in their heart. <laughs> Gee, that's the worst lie I've ever heard. What's the difference between life and league? There's not one path. There's not one lane. There's three paths in league. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I mean, I think the best way to get out of an ELO that you're stuck in is to first realize that you're stuck in the ELO because you belong there. That's that's just how the system works. It's not like, oh shit, we gotta personally drag this guy down to this ELO. Make sure he never reaches his true potential. It's like... Nah, dude, you fucking suck, so you're gonna get stuck at this ELO until you improve. Yeah, there's a common factor in your guys' games when you get stuck at an ELO and it's you, so. How do I get out of low ELO? I have supports asking me to ward when I'm trying to carry with 13 CS and 14 deaths in 3 minutes. I don't understand this ELO. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, that's not shots fired or toxic, that's the truth, man. When it, if you ever start a sentence with my team, if you if you say anything about your team when it's like I'm stuck at this ELO, then you're stuck at that ELO for a reason. <laughs> like if anywhere in the sentence it doesn't involve you and it's like, man, my team, they can't do this, they can't fucking farm, they can't carry my stupid ass, it's like, okay. <laughs> well, you got bigger problems there, buddy. <laughs> Should I really be reported for verbal abuse when I ask my team to buy wards? Okay, that I mean, I don't have much control over that one, but yeah. I mean, honestly, I think the best thing to do at lower elos is to just not type. Because when you type, they'll just take anything. It's like, 
Those people are on edge. Like, if you say anything, like, hey, dude, could you buy a word? They'll be like, the fuck did you say to me? You think I'm not buying enough words, motherfucker? I spent, like, my entire fucking game buying words. Like, anything will put them on tilt. So it's best to just, like, don't say anything. Just communicate through pings. But even with pings, you gotta be careful, because if you ping, like, danger, they're gonna be like, shut the fuck up, you stupid ass. I know what my champion's capable of. Hey guys, the power's been in you all along. Don't worry if you don't make it to Diamond, though. You're gonna get there eventually, because you're a superstar. You were made for this, literally. Ha ha ha, get it? It's like Zack, the champion you play.